Hello, this is Don Clark of FileMakerProGurus.com and FM Database Consulting. Just wanted to let you know that there is a place for you to download the example file I'm going to use in this video uh, with the let command and manipulating text, uh, let function. At any rate, you can download it at the free FileMaker examples file list that's on my website, FileMakerProGurus.com. And it's just a list of free FileMaker example files of all kinds, doing, showing you all kinds of stuff. Anybody on the web, it's from all over the place. Anybody that has a good downloadable file, I'll make a link to it, and you can find it here and use the search function here. Um, you know, you want to use modular, for example. Example, it's going to find all the modular stuff that you want to take a look at and different things we've done, things different people have done. At any rate, that's good for you, and you can also find out more about the let function at this link here. And you can also find that with this file here, you can just, just Google FileMaker Tutorial Learning the Let Function. That's Matt Petrowski of ISO Magazine, and that's very good, but more detailed than what I have in mind. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy the presentation. Hi, this is Don Clark of FileMakerProGurus.com and FM Database Consulting. Recently, I had to do some uh, a let function to manipulate some text in order to change uh, oh, a couple of thousand different files that we had uh, so that I could show a different file path. What I was doing was I had uh, doing a project for the NAACP Image Awards, and I had a whole lot of files, close to 2,000, that had been put into uh, uh, our system by the websites we had built and so we had these things put in and we were referenced to them where we stored them on the website and they were all high res and they were all over the place they were huge files some of them they were jpegs there was P uh, pngs there were tiffs and so we didn't want to have those files be referenced for what was going to be shown on the awards voting sites and stuff like that where we had to have 50 or 60 images that had to load in a short period of time and if you know if we had a three four five megabyte file it would take quite a long time with all those. So the, the question became, you know, or what, were we, what are we going to do with this? We have all these files in one location and we need to make them smaller and then we have to uh, save the high-res ones in a different location. So that's pretty straightforward. We, in terms of, we just made a bunch, of, we downloaded the files and resized them and, and, and pushed them, you know, into the right frame and everything we wanted and got down to the right resolution and made them real small. We transferred all these files that were in uh, the originals then back up to the website into a new folder. We added high res to it. So that's where all the high res folders went. They're going to use those later for print. In the meantime, we had uploaded all these figure files back into the original folder because these were already linked to our, our website so that we'd speed these things up. So we now had to come up with a new link so that the users of the FileMaker database, when they needed to have access to the high res file, could click a button that we would build based off of this that would allow them to copy that file or open that file and take a picture or whatever they needed to do. Uh, they could download it, what have you. Um, at any rate, so what I had to do was build something here. So I thought a let function would be a real good thing to do. So let's take a look at doing a let function that would do this uh, job, okay? Uh, and I had to do uh, two different folders for my example, or for my real file. Uh, so I had a little bit more complicated than this, but this one will suffice to do what we want to do. I just used a regular text field with an auto int calculation, or the auto enter calculation. So here we have it. Um, here's our let file that I built. And one of the neat things that you can do with this kind of stuff uh, when you're trying to do this, what you're basically wanting to do is you're going to want to find, and we'll cancel back out of this for a moment. What you want to find is, we. this is our new segment here, okay, so that's what we want to put everything in. We want to build this whole thing right here, and we want to put something right in the middle of that thing. Now, to do that, we have to be able to calculate on the fly for different file names and different links of file names and that kind of thing. So first, we want to count what we have here. Or sorry, actually, we'll count the number of, feet of uh, things we have, enough of characters that we have right here. In this whole thing, and then we're going to want to count everything to start up to and including that forward slash, okay? And then we're going to want to subtract one from the other, and then we're going to want to put this in front of the other one, and then and we'll be able to isolate the name once we subtract one from the other. So that's not very clear by saying it, so let's just go into the actual calculation that shows you how to do this. 
So using a let function is pretty neat. You know, you have a let, you have a left paragraph, you have these two brackets here. Um, this, and then you have some variables and expressions in here. So we got this. This is going to be a, a ver not a true variable, but this is going to be a, a value. This is going to be the expression that defines it. Okay, and so this is called being in the scope. So when the scope of this calculation, that's when this value exists, and it's equal to this. Okay, now that's the low res art, which was the field we had there with the low resolution file in it. And then we had the high resolution art. That's going to be the calculation. So this is the calculation for the high res art here. So first, like I said, we needed to take account of uh, the entire length of that uh, low res art field. And then we had to take a left count, which is the position from the position of we have left of the, of the low res art, this field here. And then we're going to do the position of the same field. We're going to look for that, the forward slash. We're going to start at the first uh, zero, and we're going to find the fourth occasion or occurrence of this, OK? If we pull these things down here a little bit, you can see that we have one, two, three, and there's the fourth one, so zero and four. All right, and then we're going to have new, a de definition called new here, and that's just going to be the front part of our new string. Okay, and then we're going to have the file name, which is going to be that portion after, back in here. It's going to be this part right here, 23052, all the way to JPEG. So that's going to be right of the low rise, uh, low res art here. And then a colon, then we're going to do the count, which we had up here, minus the length of the left count. OK, so um, that's going to give us exactly the file name ourselves. And then our new link is going to be new and file name. And then our function that we're going to return, or the value we're going to return as the calculation is new link. And that's going to put in there what, we, what we're looking for. So how does this work when you want to test something like this? This is where I really wanted to show something off today. We can copy this. Click OK. Click OK here. And OK here. And we'll bring over the data viewer. Now this is where we can do something neat. We'll just make a new file here. Make this down so you can see it. And we're going to paste that in that thing that I had there. So. Uh, First, if we try anything to evaluate, we're going to get an error. The, spe or the specified table cannot be found. So we're going to go in here. That means that this file can't be found. It has to have some context. So we're just going to double click on there. It's going to put in table colon colon. That's the actual uh, path that we have for that. So we're going to do that again here and again here and again here. And we're going to evaluate, and we get exactly what we're looking for. Now the question is, how do you tidy this up a bit? How do you test this when something goes wrong? What if, say, we you know, started when we went to 5, and we click now, and, and we get a duplication, for example? How do we test things like this? So the first thing is to, to do is, is just change your output here. OK, so we have new link down here, but what if we went under the count? We just type in count down there and replace it and click evaluate, and we find out that it's 55 long. OK, 55 characters long. Now let's put in left count. And we see um, from here to there, that's not a good descriptor, but that's all right. Left, this is the, the portion of this right here that we want to get. I could have made it count of this too, by the way, and would have left this step out. Could have just put left count in here. But uh, that, let's just try that on the fly and see if that's going to work OK. We can do count what I had in there. And I messed it up. So let's undo that. We'll just leave it the way it is for simplicity's sake. So let's put in left count. It's going to give us this string right here. OK, then let's look at new. And click Evaluate Now. And we've got right there, because we already knew what that was. So that was kind of a waste. But let's go ahead and look at file name now. Oh, 
Okay, so that does give us our file name, uh, which if you remember back here is, and we can't move that one. It's, yeah, there we go, 23052. So it starts with that and it ends with it with a JPEG. So we know we've got the right length in our file name. And then our new link, of course, which is what we were looking to do. So what we have in here is the right for file name, for example, we have right of the table low res art. Um, and then we're going to go the count minus the left count. So it's going to make, go use this figure here, which was 55. And then it's going to take off the left count, which is going to be the count of this string here. Okay, and so that gives us exactly the file name here. And that's how easy it is to do a let value to, to do this. Now when we're done, we just put in new link again. Evaluate now, and you can see that this goes through. So we close this and close this, and we don't have any value in here at all at this point in time, but we need the new one, and we're going to do this for 2,000 of us, kind of nice. Um, we copy that, and we paste it back in, and it puts it in there for us. However, if we also, and we have, say, a couple of thousand records, like I was saying, if we want to do this, and now this is something you got to use care with. Let's go ahead and copy this whole thing here. Click OK and OK. And you could just hit Command Equal and Replace With, and you could do a Replace All. You know, if you had 2,000 found, it would do it on 2,000 of them. And you could replace it with that variable right there, or that calculation, that let function, and it would do it for you right there. That's all there is to it. It's a pretty simple method for doing, a, you know, so using a let function to do some text manipulation. Thanks for watching. This is Don Clark again with FileMakerProGurus.com and FM Database Consulting. I hope you enjoyed this. Take care.